Hello friends and welcome to another session by the Biani Group of Colleges. We have with us here today Dr. Manish Biani, who is the Research Director of the Biani Group of Colleges and has been associated with us in this position for the past seven years. Apart from this, Dr. Manish Biani has been working as Research Professor in Japan for over 15 years now and has a deep association with various uh, different universities including Saitama University, University of Tokyo, Akita University and JAIST. I would like to tell you that Dr. Manish's background ka jo background as a scientist is very remarkable. His career started in our college Jaipur se, and thereafter Japan is an advanced country and to research the right mind. He is a very passionate scientist. So uh, I hope that you have to listen to and you have to understand and you have to take your knowledge for today's youth, for science students, for engineering students, for biotechnology students, for nanotechnology career for nanotechnology students, it means a lot. It is very useful. क्योंकि जीरो से स्टार्ट करके साइंस को कैसे हम लोग अपनी लाइफ में लाते हैं कैसे साइंटिस्ट बनते हैं क्योंकि मुझे लगता है इन आवर कंट्री रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट इज लैकिंग रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट में बहुत कमी है और मुझे लगता है कि ये यंग पर्सन से यंग माइंड ही इस एनवायरनमेंट को बनाएंगे रिसर्च को वापस से ट्राई करेंगे और कंट्री को प्राउड फील कराएंगे सो मैं को मैं आप सबसे अपील करूंगा कि आप जो कम्युनिकेशन होने वाला है आप जो बात होने वाली है ये डेफिनेटली अद्भुत होगी और आपके लिए बहुत लर्निंग भरी होगी प्लीज बी ए गुड लिसनर एंड शेयर योर वैल्यूएबल टाइम विद ए ग्रेट पर्सन लाइक डॉक्टर मनीष बियानी प्रोफेसर इन टोक्यो यूनिवर्सिटी एंड वेरी एडवांस कंट्री में आपका जो पंद्रह साल का रिसर्च एक्सपीरियंस है उसको शेयर करने के लिए आप तैयार हो जाइए और मैं आपका मनीष डॉक्टर मनीष आपका स्वागत करता हूँ और आप आपसे जो कम्युनिकेशन करेंगे अनु भटनागर मैम के साथ में आई होप कि दिस कम्युनिकेशन विल रियली सर्व द पर्पस थैंक यू डॉक्टर संजय बियानी एंड वेलकम वंस अगेन डॉक्टर मनीष बियानी डॉक्टर बियानी we wanted to ask you a simple basic question mm. in today's world which is so science oriented mm -hmm. in every single field in every single aspect we see the involvement and progression of science what is the best way to guide students to take up science engineering as a future prospect uh, hello young minds uh, i think this is a good opportunity to talk with all of you uh, with this session uh, I can see that the world is changing rapidly and the world for science and engineering is just knocking the door and uh, I think science and engineering can change the world especially for India future. Now uh, the question is that why we should take the science engineering as our career uh, for future. Uh, what I have learned uh, that every step should be very objectively and if I see if you want to take a step in your career, it should be very objective. So first look at the problems which we are going to face in uh, near 10 or 20 years. I think there are many, many uh, big issues. Like we have the healthcare issue. In healthcare issue, we have such type of like early diagnosis, how we can develop new device that can help to uh, diagnose the disease before they appear like how we can engineer the new medicines. So these are the few issues in the healthcare issue. Also we have environmental issue, how we can improve the environment, how we can reduce the toxicity environment, how we can assess the clean water. And also we have the energy issue, how we can generate the new sources for generate the energy. Uh, also uh, uh, if you talk about the HR, human resource development, how we can develop uh, skill for personalized learning. So these all our issues are, I think, uh, belongs to the science engineering. So if you deal this field, I think uh, you can, you can, uh, you can lead the world by working as a science state or, or engineer. So uh, as I said that we should step very objectively. So if you can see the challenges in the coming future and if you can prepare uh, by learning science or engineering, then I think you can lead this uh, country. But uh, Dr. Manish, we are in the mind of youth, if we understand, 
then and nowadays everybody says why science why technology mm-hmm. everybody wants to earn money every student want to go in commerce and management side mm-hmm. so now uh, what is the reason there and what, uh, what uh, don't you think that uh, the problem of the society um, uh, problem of our study is we are more focused on our bookish knowledge and our practical approaches are lacking do we agree with you yeah this is definitely i'm i'm fully agreed because uh, in uh, in many institution in india i have seen that still the classes are running uh, based on the textbooks knowledges then uh, it's really not good for the future so we have to bring out our students from the class at least from the textbooks and give them some real exposure so they can they can learn actually how how they should grow and how what what they should learn so it's very important to bring out the students from the classrooms traditional classrooms and give them a, a good exposure so it's good but uh, you are in a position to explain the difference between indian education system and japanese education system so what is the core and basic difference in our science education system and japanese uh, education system in the science side uh in my knowledge the main is uh, the education system uh, that in traditional system in india or some other countries uh, students spending all time in the classes to take the lectures to listen the lectures to appear in the examination in the written test but in a uh, developed country especially in the science engineering students hardly spending 10% time in the classrooms only 10% only 10% because we have very limited lectures and all the rest time they are spending in the laboratories by doing some research or by playing with the research actually or uh, taking some very uh, uh, practical exposures so 80 or 90% time they are spending in the exposure yeah. practical exposure mm-hmm. that is the i think the main difference mm-hmm. uh, what i helps out between uh, traditional education in india so i think this is the main problem Uh, why biotechnology and nanotechnology subjects are not popular in our country i think this is the root cause because both of the subject biotechnology and nanotechnology both are concerned with the practical applications and if we have not good research environment in our institution then it is very difficult to carry the subjects this is the, i think this is the real cause why our biotechnology students are not employable why our nanotechnology subjects are not so popular in our country because we have very bad laboratories mm-hmm. we have uh, no adequate arrangement for research mm-hmm. for application mm-hmm. side i think this is the core what, uh, what uh, do you agree with me yeah i am fully agree because uh, if i see the difference in undergraduate level uh, students are not involved in any type of research but in other countries in developed countries students even from the last year of undergraduate course they are doing the uh, practicals okay so ab mujhe bataiye student kya kare student research karna chahta hai mm-hmm. student uh, laboratory mein jana chahta hai student by technology mein apna career banana chahta hai mm-hmm. student nanotechnology subject ko like karta hai ab in india how mm-hmm. the student can manage this situation वो क्या ऐसा करे जिससे वो अपने पैशनेट सब्जेक्ट अपने इंटरेस्ट के अकॉर्डिंगली इसी इन्वायरमेंट में रह के अपने ऑब्जेक्ट अपने पैशन को अचीव करे उसके लिए उन्हें क्या करना चाहिए या दिस इज समथिंग वेरी हार्ड टू रिप्लाई हाउ टू डेवलप बट व्हाट आई सी और व्हाट आई ऑब्जर्व दैट फर्स्ट वी नीड टू डेवलप इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हियर एंड फॉर दैट इनिशिएशन इज रिक्वायर्ड इनिशिएशन फ्रॉम ईच फैकल्टी मेम्बर्स फ्रॉम ईच स्टूडेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड if every member of a science institution take initiation to develop a research environment then i think we can slowly we can improve the infrastructure here like in this institution we any group of colleges what i have taken initiation to start the small projects so what i have done uh, to categorize all the students in our science faculty to categorize in different different projects totally i have made 11 projects and i have kept four students in each projects that i called the sip plan that's the summer internship programs so i, I and another thing i am not uh, limit uh, limiting this sip for few months but i am doing for all the years for all the times in a year so our students are involving in such program for full time for every day they are doing some work and uh, even the undergraduates and post graduates are involved through this program by doing some research here 
So, uh, Dr. Manish, you are associated with BNE International Institute of Engineering Technology. You are a director. You are also associated with various universities in Tokyo. You have a global experience. So, what is your plan? What is your future plan about the youth? आप कैसे देख रहे हैं इन सब चीजों को कि रिसर्च में जो आप बच्चों को क्या देने जा रहे हैं और आपके दिमाग में क्या है और बच्चे जो है डिफरेंट कैसे बनेंगे वो एक पैशनेट साइंटिस्ट कैसे बनेंगे उसके बारे में आपका विजन आपके इंस्टीट्यूशन के बारे में क्या है प्लीज एक्सप्लेन दिस आई थिंक द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग विच आई वॉन्ट टू ट्रांसफॉर्म इन आवर स्टैंड दैट आई कॉल दीड सीड डेवलपमेंट हाउ वी कैन डेवलप द सीड or a curiosity for their subject so there is a i think a, a very good word just made up of four letters that i call every time to students that's a g- uh, grit g r i t grit grit is something about uh, how we can dedicate it to get some success in adverse condition so that is very important usually students get deviated from their way if they get failure they easily get uh, David and choose the another way. This is not good. So always be very fixed. And uh, for science engineering, I think it's very important to make a big call as much as you can dream. So make a very big target and uh, try to get achieved. And let me tell you that uh, degree is not important. What score you are getting is not important. If you see some big personalities, uh, let me see uh, the few examples: Steve Jobs and. Uh, Bill Gates, they are very big personalities. Even Steve Jobs, yes. he is a uh, college graduate. So they are they are dropped out actually. They have no degree, but how they can become so successful? Mm-hmm. Because they have the gritty. They was gritty actually. Mm-hmm. There was something they determined and they work for it in adverse condition. So this is very important. But uh, problem be it because in our education system, the uh, demand is. that is more about the examination oriented approach mm-hmm. they have to learn more they have to cram more so there is no substitute What yeah that's okay so you you have to take balancing in each mm-hmm. so balancing your theoretical examinations and also get some time to do some research here whatever environment you you get please adopt it and uh, try to get involved in this and research is not just uh, You have to take initiation. Means okay, so you have said that means what you explain uh, that uh, research environment is lacking in our country. So, for a youth, what is the plan you have in your mind that he will go to institution here? He will complete the syllabus here. But ultimately, a youth after 10 years will want to see a place in his career, to see a stage in his career, to see a place in his career, to see a place in his career, to see a place in his career. So, how you will ensure them? कि यहाँ आपके पास दिमाग में क्या प्लान है जिससे वो इंश्योर हो सके कि इफ अगर वो ग्लोबल लेवल पे अपना विजन बनाना चाहते हैं एक एडवांस लेबोरेटरी में जाना चाहते हैं रिसर्चर बनना चाहते हैं साइंटिस्ट बनना चाहते हैं तो आपने ऐसा क्या किया अभी तक और आपके दिमाग में ऐसा क्या प्लान है जिससे ये इंश्योर हो सके कि आपका जो विजन है वो उनके लिए बहुत पर्पजफुल होगा एग्जैक्टली वाट यू हैव डन एंड वट इज़ योर फ्यूचर प्लानिंग इन दिस रेस्पेक्ट कि बच्चे यहाँ पर तो इन्वायरमेंट नहीं है राजस्थान में इन्वायरमेंट नहीं है दिल्ली में रीजनेबल इन्वायरमेंट है लेकिन रिसर्च का स्कोप तो अनलिमिटेड है रिसर्च इन डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज में हो ही कम रहा है सो आपका उनके फ्यूचर के लिए क्या प्लान है योर योर पास्ट एक्सपीरियंस योर पास्ट एफर्ट्स एंड योर फ्यूचर प्लानिंग प्लीज लेट मी एक्सप्लेन वेल फॉर राजस्थान और फॉर दिस सिटी आई हैव अ वेरी बिग प्लान आई हैव डिजाइंड ए ग्रांड प्रोजेक्ट दैट आई कॉल द बर्ड दैट इज द इंटर डिसिप्लिन रिसर्च डेवलपमेंट सेंटर So what I'm planning to first give a training to our student, either by making some exchange programs. We have developed many networking with the uh, renowned university in Japan and other countries. So what we are planning to to make some ex- exchange programs. Our students can go there, can get some training there, and after they can return back here. And so tell me something about your past working, your uh, your past efforts for the students. Mm-hmm. Uh, your achievements so uh, if i if i statically say then we have developed four different uh, agreements with universities Everybody in japan is asking about agreement but what is the substance what efforts till date you have taken to please our student from this country to this country so what exactly you have done in this respect so we have already placed our seven students from our this institution 
and they are doing wonderful job as a PhD scholar in different institution in Japan. Seven number is there. And next year I am planning to uh, uh, send another four or so five seven students. Seven is a good number. Seven students. So let me explain about the working of seven students in a Tokyo. Okay. Uh, well, among these sevens, uh, three are working in Saitama University okay. and two are working in Tokyo University. One is working in Skuba University and uh, one is working in Akita University. So all these students are working in different, different fields. Someone is working in genetic engineering, someone is working in nanotechnology field, someone is working in environmental engineering. So they all are uh, working in different, different fields. But it is financially, it is very difficult to sustain in Japan. No, no, actually this is the uh, good part of agreement. In our agreement, students are getting fully support. So when we are recommending our students, they are, they are getting a good scholarship in Japan. So they can easily survive and they can easily uh, carry their research there. So there is a no any burden of uh, financial problem for us, our students. Very nice. So they are very well secure and they are doing very wonderful. Uh, tell me something about the security of girls and other arrangement in Japan because Japan is quite different mm -hmm. than our country. So uh, working conditions, uh, environment, social. Well, environment. Uh, I think Japan is one of the best country where you you cannot uh, you cannot uh, feel any issue of safety so this is one of the most safe, uh, safest country in this world even uh, a girl or a, a lady can walk in midnight on the road so there is no issue of safety and research uh, because i have gone through all the countries uh, almost and i see that the the research atmosphere which i observe in japan is wonderful Compared to any other country. So it's a good news, it's a uh, good remark from your side that you have a definite good plan for uh, science students in our institution. So I hope all the girls or all the youth who are in our institutions and uh, opting science and technology and the engineering subject in, uh, in their, their course curriculum, they all are in the safe hand, the safe hand of Dr. Manish Piani who is really a passionate uh, scientist, not much concerned about the books and reading and blackboard teaching. He is uh, concerned with the, uh, he is more passionate about the real research.